Hello friends, once again welcome back to Alchemy Academy platform. So in this video lesson, I'll discuss about the control philosophy of a heater. I mean to say how to control the heater outlet temperature that is called, called as a coil outlet temperature. So this is the process fluid inlet into the heater. This is your heater. This is the process fluid outlet. I want to heat this process fluid inlet. Suppose this temperature is at a 250 degree Celsius and my desired outlet temperature is as per the process requirement is 300 degree celsius so how to control this temperature it should not go 310 or it should not go below 290 degree celsius i want optimum value of 300 degree celsius so how to maintain through the controller through the controller means i mean to say there would be a firing heater how does uh, heater operate basically there is a firing in the into the heater direct burners will be there that will burn and that burner will be fired by the giving a fuel gas or a fuel oil supply will be there and then we keep burning and there is a heat transfer to the process fluid by the radiation and convection the tubes which will be in the radiation section of the heater where that region two by third of the heat transfer will happen and some coils uh, will be in the convection zone of the heater there heat transfer will happen due to the convection mode of heat transfer so basically this control philosophy r2 cascade how to operate it from the dc those things i'll discuss in this video lesson so before i get into the details of this video i would like to brief uh, about the heater mechanism and the role of heater in different units of refinery so you can see it here objective of a heater is to heat the process fluid at a desired temperature as per process requirement depends on the process requirement whether that heater is placed in the cdvd unit or whether that heater is placed in the uh, diesel hydrotating unit or naphtha hydrotating or it is placed in the fcc unit based on that requirement the coil outlet temperature different uh, control philosophy like control philosophy would be same based on uh, that requirement basically we operate the heater there are safety concern would be there how to operate safely that heater because one side in the tubes hydrocarbon will be there and the outside direct direct fire is there so if you don't operate correctly in a safely you are not aware much about the control philosophy you operate wrongly and somehow due to your mistake tubes get ruptured then it can lead to catastrophe and damage the equipment unit or personal also it can damage damage so that's why it is very critical and very important you to know how to control the uh, how to operate the heater and how to control and how to handle in case of emergency basically i'll discuss here only control philosophy so you can see the heater basically there are two zones one is the call is radiation zone other is called as a convection zone what happens the process fluid here the inlet is in and you can see the here process outlet so this is called as the this section uh, it is marred here you can see it is a radiation section this section is a convection section in the radiation section mostly two by third of the heat transfer will happen into the radiation section and one by third of the heat transfer will mostly will happen here in the convection convection section and this heat transfer will happen we are giving a direct fire into the furnace and the mode of fire will be it can be a fuel gas we can fire or we can give a fuel oil fuel oil will be introduced will introduce atomizing steam so that it can disperse and fire can it can atomize and goes in the slight vapor form so that it can catch the fire and keeps burning so heater uh, oil firing will be along with the steam steam will uh, uh, atomize that and gas fire directly pilot will uh, fire with the gas and that after after that gas burner gas burner will light up so this is how we give a heating media to the process fluid so this is just simple general arrangement i had uh, taken one uh, drawing and kept it here you can this is called a firebox here burners would be like this somewhere burners will be the cylindrical and somewhere like this a box type of burner will be there the heater will be there along with the heater wall there will be a refractive which will prevent the heater metallic component to get uh, i mean not to melt so that's why in order to keep monitoring this heater profile there would be peep holes uh, into the heater th through that during the field round we go and check it and we check the conditions of fire whether, whether it is okay or not we keep monitoring to use fire pattern whether any tubes are red hot or not so during the field round we keep monitoring and apart from that there are safety systems interlocks which is incorporated into the heater that also we keep monitoring and take action accordingly as per emergency conditions 
then there will be the damper will be there which will control the you know excess oxygen suppose natural draft is based on this so open in natural draft normally keep it uh, some 80% 90% open based on the requirement how much excess oxygen is there then stack will be there after the burning of the fuel gas and fuel whatever the emissions are there will go back to the ems to the, through the stack will go to the environment so here we also monitor uh, there are the government regulations where you have to keep monitoring SOX, NOX, SPM uh, parameters on continuous basis so that you should not uh, allow that emission to go beyond the regulation, CPCB regulation, regulation. If there is a deviation, you have to report it, you have to calibrate the uh, whatever the instruments kept there. So those are different things. I'll come back to the control philosophy soon. And here in this uh, heater, this, uh, suppose it's a natural draft heater, what happens? The draft, draft means what? you need to create support outside pressure is pressure is one atmosphere pressure is there then inside you have to uh, maintain slightly lower pressure than the one at atmosphere pressure the difference is called the draft if draft is there then only what will be the fire will be contained in, into the firebox or else what will happen if it is a inside fire is there and draft is positive then flame can hit the tubes and all it can come through the p-fold and the person who went for checking uh, you know uh, this heater uh, during the field round to check the heater condition uh, he may get uh, fire or that radiation on his face so that's why uh, he has to wear ppes and all and uh, we have to keep monitoring from the control system dcs control system whether draft is good or not so this is the little bit basics i thought to tell what actually happens into the industry now i'll tell roll of heater like a uh, roll of heater uh, with respect to different units I'll discuss and then I'll come back to the control philosophy so role of heater in CD or video unit so normally what happened in CD video unit uh, there is a feed crude will be there and objective normal what happens in CD video we have to separate the crude components into different com different components how after the proper distillation and fractionation so what happens crude will come it goes feed pump through the preheat trains here wash water then it goes to desalter desalter then there will be preheat exchanges then after that it'll go to pre flush drum then after that it comes back to the heater suppose in a uh, crude atmosphere column our flashing temperature that has been designed by the venter is 375 degrees celsius means our objective here is to maintain 375 degrees celsius suppose here temperature is 258 or 260 degrees celsius my desired temperature is 375 so heater objective is to impart the heat to the process flow so that it can reach to the desired flashing temperature once it gets into the atmosphere column then different components will be separated based on the column profile we'll do uh, continuous vaporization and subsequent condensation and based on that from different chimney trays will have a withdrawal withdrawal like heavy naphtha kero diesel so objective of cd video unit is to separate the different components from the crude crude and get a desired product and that separation will happen at a particular temperature this particular 375 degrees Celsius temperature we get by using a heater we give a direct fire and heat transfer will happen through the uh, uh, Pro, uh, th those tubes uh, and heat transfer will happen because of the convection and radiation heat transfer so this control here you see the role of a heater very 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 much important important if we are not able to heat the process flu at a flushing temperature desired product desired fractionation we cannot get so this is the role of heater in video uh, cd unit similarly vacuum heater also will be there that objective will be to heat the process fluid at a desired flushing temperature now you see role of a heater in fcc unit so in fcc unit also what we do we take lvgo or hvgo we get from the uh, cd video unit from there we'll, we'll get as a feed feed will goes to the preheat exchanges here suppose uh, here you can see it uh, one feed pump will be there so after that it goes to the feed preheat preheat exchangers it, it will go suppose cell side then after after preheating it goes to the furnace so objective of furnace here to heat the process fluid for maintaining the proper cot support proper cot here 300 degrees celsius i want to maintain in latest 250 degree celsius so here heater will provide based on the call cot there the control philosophy in the gas and the r for this automatically it will maintain 300 degrees celsius 
so this 300 sector it goes to the uh, reactor and here we maintain in the abscess user reactor outlet temperature suppose 530 be maintained so this temperature basically helps to control the rcsb opening uh, this fcc unit overview i'll give some other some other time other time just i wanted to uh, say the role of heater into the fcc unit basically to impart the heat i want 300 degrees Re suppose reaction happened 550 five degrees celsius so the extra heat will help and it will reduce the increase in the cat circulation oil suppose it is lower than your cat circulation rate will increase if anyone have aware of the fcc unit they can relate so uh, let's uh, go back to the another slide similarly you can see it a roll of a heater into hydrotating unit so normally hydrotating unit what will happen we get a diesel if it's a naphtha hydrotating then we'll get a naphtha if a diesel hydrotating we'll get a uh, diesel and we have to hydrotate it so normally this is the drawing process flow diagram i have kept it for nht so normally what we can naphtha will get in the feed system from feed system you give a feed pump from feed pump it could combine feed exchanger will get a desired temperature command feed temperature is supposed to 94 but our reactor inlet temperature rit is 337 degrees celsius or 338 338 i want to maintain here so heater objective is to heat the process fluid to get a desired reactor inlet temperature because this temperature particular temperature in pressure only the re desirable reaction will happen and and that's why the role if we vary this temperature your you know reaction uh, reaction will differ your proper reaction will not will not be happening so there's the optimum value of rit that's why we have to keep it fixed and based on this control will be there on the fuel gas and fuel oil firing so that control philosophy i'll discuss into this video so that's what uh, i told you now the role of uh, heater in different units i have told in nht dht i have told in role of heater in cd video unit i have told role of heater in uh, this uh, FCC unit similar almost all process uh, major units primary and secondary units will have this heater so let's come back to the control philosophy so here is the control philosophy you can see it here is the process fluid inlet at a temperature of 250 degrees celsius i have assumed outlet temperature here 300 degrees celsius this is called coil outlet temperature cot i want to maintain 300 degrees celsius cot coil outlet temperature now the process fluid will goes in different passes here i have drawn is four passes it will go it will go through this pass this pass this pass. it gets distributed it goes in the convection vent and again it will go to the radiation section and after heating it again comes back to the outlet as a coil outlet temperature and all four passes club together and becomes a single pass that is called as a coil outlet temperature so we have to be want this particular temperature coil outlet temperature 300 degrees celsius and let to fit this 360 i don't want it to change it should not go abruptly sometime 290 or 310 like that it should not worry i want this to be keep fixed so be because uh, in order to be, uh, fix it there is a control philosophy control philosophy for maintaining this coil outlet temperature that i'll explain in a coil outlet temperature also individual outlet temperature we monitor in case of any whether any uh, you know any of the coils getting more temperature we do field round and all we keep monitoring also the process conditions we maintain we monitor, monitor this temperatures temperatures also on continuous basis continuous basis now here you can see it uh, firing into the heater will happen based on the gas fire here burners will be there yes what will happen burners will be there suppose this is the five burner or eight seven burner or 12 burner arrangement is there in the heater then what will happen here fires will be there here fire this fire will happen based on the gas fire and the oil firing will be there so initially when you ignite the heater will line up the fuel gas pilot will ignite with the electric heater fire will happen then again will line up the fuel fuel gas and this firing will happen in that we can this fire we can control with the fuel oil system or fuel gas system in fuel oil system also oil will be i'll be going here and then one atomizing steam will be there will come into the burner burner it will atomize and then pilot will be keep burning in order to burn the fuel this fuel oil atomizing steam will be this uh, uh, the fuel oil will gets atomized and because and pilot will always be uh, in keep burning condition so it will catch fire and will start burning 
so oil fire gas fire normally we can keep as a combined fire so both in a in the burner burner like that so objective here how to control so this control coil outlet temperature control will be can be given on the fuel gas or fuel oil so i'll discuss if we switch here to the control philosophy it can go to fuel gas or if we switch it to fuel i want control on fuel oil it can go on the fuel oil control now i'll discuss with respect to fuel gas only one control philosophy i'll discuss that uh, other one is similar to this so what happens this is the indication this is the controller coil outlet cot temperature sir so what will happen this is the controller use controller here your set value will be there some and overall this fire outlet temperature suppose uh, one more thing i'll say before i'll discuss this uh, auto cascading thing what happen i want 300 degrees celsius if what happens the temperature goes down suppose 290 degrees what will happen i want this fire to be increased fire to be increased means you have to increase the gas suppose gas fire is coming fuel gas what will happen you have to in open this control valve allow the gas more to come and will burn more suppose i want this to be suppose this temperature went 310 degrees celsius i want this to be lower temperature so what will happen i will allow our command will get i will reduce this control valve opening opening so that gas fire will be minimized so that i can control the temperature so controller purpose is to control the control valve in such a way we allow the gas flow to go in such a way that to meet the outlet temperature 300 degrees celsius correct now that's how it is incorporated so this is called as a primary controller this is secondary this you can say is a master or this is a slave controller so controller will be tuned by the over the uh, suppose centimeter sahani well or ekogawa based on the license they will tune they will tune it so i want here 300 degree celsius temperature suppose set value here is 300 degree celsius is there they based on that it has generated mb 40 degree celsius 40 40 degree mb means it is a mb that will give set value to the slave control this is the master to the slave control or secondary control valve so how that mb will be generated suppose this mb is 40 right now 40 phase plate control valve how much 0 to 100 it can operate so divide by 100 you can say into how much is phase plate range is there set value which because this is the flow this is the temperature correct the flow how much suppose this range is 0 to 1500 correct suppose this is the 15 0 to 1500 so if you divide is this one then how much 15 4 ja 60 total into 10 16 and set value will become here 16 uh, 600 so it will give a set value of 600 6 600 but here present value how much 590 is there so it means what will happen it will allow this control valve to open in order to meet this 600 600 flow so this mb is instead of 60 percent opening it will start opening 61 62 percent again after opening it will measure the outlet temperature suppose this temperature again went 305 increasing only 3, 3 it went 310 degrees then what will happen it will reduce the mb to some 35 35 or based on that mb it will generate set value so after that this, this set value should have 600 it will generate some uh, 580 like that so that it should reduce because our outlet temperature is increasing i have to come it down so there are two cases when coil outlet temperature increases more than the set value suppose 300 degrees celsius went to 310 degrees celsius how to control so it will generate mb in such a way it will it has to reduce the flow second objective uh, if here set value is 300 Celsius. Suppose that outlet temperature, present value, you read it here, is 290. So in that condition, what will generate MB as per existing MB 40 is there. It will increase it further so that here set value of flow increases and it will again compare. Suppose it given the set value here 610 and here reading 590, then again it will allow this controller to open because you are not able to meet the given set value. Suppose 60 is there, it will open 70 and will meet once that present value again. Uh, again uh, comes equal to approximately set value then again it will hold there again will wait for some time and we'll see how much coil outlet temperature there and it keeps on controlling like that so this is the running condition and uh, uh, normal running condition how to maintain and this control philosophy will vary depends on the last uh, 
you know uh, which company uh, that centum is there centum which is belong to eco gowar honey honey based on that this configuration can be changed you have to read particularly with respect to that control philosophy now first time suppose i am the i am telling first time i have to increase this temperature suppose everything in manual what will happen how to do this auto cascading i'll tell simple suppose here some flow is there suppose here set set value 600 a uh, flow is there and it is there in the manual it is there correct here auto capna it is in the manual i want this from auto to cascade cascade to happen it is a manual and uh, manual if you put in manual both present and set value will be same i want this to be at cascade going cascade so what will happen will calculate back calculate based on this present value this set value okay this 600 range is there na so what will happen based on this i'll generate the mb correct so i was generating earlier na like 600 i am getting mb so mb how much this mb suppose 40% is there this mb so that primary control mb 40 is there they divide by how much 100 into 1500 was there i am telling i want to calculate this mb i know this set value i know because this is the running condition so what will do i want to calculate this mb so what will be mb is equal to 600 divided by 1500 into 100 so we got 40 so this value will give take in manual this controller will reach it to the how much 40% then what i'll do i'll put this one uh, auto then after that this one will keep in auto and will again this one i'll change to cascaded so based on this mb if you convert again here set value it will not be changed so that's that is called as a bumpless transfer of the control philosophy so this is again i am telling this is not fixed for a particular centum control it varies from uh, centum to centum and control philosophy one way i have told you it is not needed that is true for all the controllers so you have to read it particularly basically with respect to all other con uh, with respect to given centum control philosophy practically this is the idea i wanted to go this is not exactly what you see it here so guys that's all for today i hope you like it so guys thank you thank you so much